Hi kid and welcome to Kid Time Story Time where you know if you're a sea pup it can be tough out there and that's why you need a survival guide. Bloop, 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 bloop. Excuse me, Storyteller. Hey, if you should fish, we're just about to get started. I know. I just wanted to give you a little warning. A warning? <laughs> For what? Well, I'm going to have a couple of friends dropping by or maybe swimming by. Friends? Yeah, and I don't want you to get alarmed or anything. Wait, well, what kind of friends? Whoa, they're very, uh, how shall I say it? Just say it. Large friends. Okay, who are they? Well, okay, okay, okay. So when uh, Laura was preparing this book, wait, do you know Laura Knight, the author? Yeah, yeah, of course, right? of course, I know everybody. So anyway, as as she was preparing the book, she needed some contacts under the sea, and you know, everybody knows I'm a social butterfly for a fish, and she needed some um some friends to talk to for research purposes for this survival guide for Spot. Uh huh. And these friends were part of the research yes yes of course yeah yeah it's just they're charming but they're apparently a little scary by what you're preparing me for no i mean only if you're afraid of extremely large mammals wait a minute what are you talking about like a dolphin or a whale or both okay well um just be really nice to them and give them a warm kid time story time welcome should they show up while we are reading the story okay okay oh she has never done this to me before okay well you know any friend of fuchsia fish is a friend of ours right so i'm sure that even if they are large and potentially scary looking i'm sure they're not scary right i've got my special shell uh bracelet uh, you know, because it's uh, we're going under the sea, and I like to be thematic. Uh, be kind to the planet. Be kind to each other. Good, good words. Oh, and this is dedicated to the children who will grow up to protect our oceans. Hey, that's you. Dedicated to you. Shall we begin? Spot a sea pup's survival guide. My name is Spot, and my fur is thick and short. Oh, he's got fur? He doesn't look like green bear or, or red bear or pink bear, but yes, if he has fur, I'm sure that it's exactly right. Racing my pals under the water is my favorite sport. Fun facts, Guadalupe fur seals spend most of their lives out at sea. Their furry coat keeps them warm underwater, which is kind of wild, right? Because you don't really think about, uh, about um, Spot being a sea pup and being furry, right? You kind of think of him as being sleek. Yeah, yeah, because everybody knows that when you think of furry, you think Pink Bear. Oh, hh Pink Bear. Wasn't expecting that visit, but that, that must not be who Fuchsia Fish was talking about because we're used to seeing Pink Bear. I may be just a pup. I am the fastest swimmer in my sea lion pod. I like to eat shrimp, crab, and especially fish like cod. Ooh, so do I. So Spot and I have a lot in common. Uh, fun facts. Most fish swim together in groups called schools to avoid being eaten by predators. Ah, and maybe that's why they send you to school, so you won't be eaten by a, a, a large, you know, shark or something. It was a lovely day under the warm sun. I was with my good friends and we were having some fun. We splashed around, feeling free, looking for adventure in the big blue sea. Fun facts. Most of our planet is covered by water. The oceans are so big, it's hard for scientists to explore them all. That's right, there's only so many scientists and there's a lot of water and it's deep. There's some things down there that, that scientists haven't even seen yet. Now we dove deep into the water using our front flippers to pick up speed. It was a race to the finish as I continued to lead. Fun facts, animals can be found at all depths of the ocean from the surface of the deepest trenches that are over seven miles below the surface. Look at that. That's a giant school of fish. That's so interesting, right? To see how they travel together in schools. That's an easy one to remember because you go to school. My sea lion friends swam belly up as I raced them going down. We passed all the jellyfish and dashed through octopus town. Ooh, I guess they don't get stung or maybe they know how to go around them. Fun facts, an octopus has eight arms and three hearts. It has a good memory and it's considered to be very smart. Huh. Well, I bet 
I bet octopuses make fabulous husbands because they have eight arms to hug you and they have three hearts to love you a lot and they have good memory so they'll never forget your anniversary. Hmm, that's good to know. I used my whiskers to navigate the ocean's current and found myself ahead of the pack. Next thing I knew, I was under attack. What? What? Under attack? No, no, what's happening? Okay, I, I think I, I'm seeing what's starting to happen now. We're having a crisis because I see trash and, and plastic bags like from the store and those don't belong under the sea. And those, oh no, that could be a hazard to fish and, and sea life. Oh no, it's exactly what we feared. I was trapped in a net full of plastic and trash. It wrapped around my neck tighter and tighter with every kick and splash. No, not so fun fact. Trash left behind can be very dangerous to the ocean animals. Many animals face extinction because of pollution. Okay, we need to stop right now and talk about that. And in fact, we're not gonna talk about it. I'm gonna show you something, something that you can do to not, to help the animals not get trapped underwater. Okay, you see this? You see this thing right here? This is that, uh, the, 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 the rings, those plastic rings that hold um, like soda cans and, and bottles of liquids, things like that, right? That you get at the store. So you don't know if it's gonna end up in the trash, in the, in, the, in the ocean, right? You can't possibly know the whole journey of your trash. But since we don't know where some of our trash is ending up these days, what I like to do is this. You see what I'm doing? I'm opening up all the holes so that there is no way that a fish could swim through and get his head caught like so. So, and, or, or, a, or a dolphin could get caught in here with his nose or something like that and get tangled. So since we don't know how some of this garbage is ending up in the ocean and we can't always stop it from all the way from home, we can make sure that now, if this for some reason ends up in the wrong place, it cannot tangle up the nose of a, of a fish or of a sea pup or anything. So that's one hint, one helpful hint that I wanted to pass on to you. So you can do this at home and you could be part of the solution. But meanwhile, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I found my way back to the top, barking for help. Yes, because they can do that. Almost out of breath, I started to yelp. Scared and alone, I began to lose hope. But then a miracle, a boy throws me a rope. High up above sat a special red boat. It came to my rescue and I was pulled onto a float. Oh, wow, a rescue. I did not see that coming. Thank goodness, it seems like they're out, in the, you see there's a city in the distance and it looks like there's a boy and a fella on this, on this raft, on this red boat. And they, I guess they spotted, well they heard the yelping and they came to the rescue. Oh, they've taken him to a special vet hospital, I can tell. Untangling the net and checking my pulse were key. Along with the boy, animal doctors were taking care of me. We sailed to a marine center 20 miles from home. It was important that my wounds healed before I could roam. Oh, poor thing, he has, has to get his strength back and heal and get some rest so he could be strong enough to get back out into the ocean. Oh, well, the boy, Charlie, would visit me every day. He kept me company while I was away, away from, you know, away from home. He said he was sorry that some humans pollute the big blue sea. He knew all life on earth was important, even for you and me. Fun fact, sea turtles are hatched from an egg on land, but they usually spend their entire life at sea. Many sea turtle species are considered endangered, Oh yes, I see the turtle nest in Florida every single summer. That's right, they have nests, but it's not a nest like a bird's nest. They, 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 they bury their eggs in the sand and then people, conservationists come and they put a ring around it to protect the eggs so that nobody accidentally sits on them and crushes them so that that way they can be hatched when they're ready. What, what is that sound? <gasps> What's that, what I? Is that what I just thought it was? <gasps> are you, are, excuse me, are you the, 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 are you the whale that's the friend of Fuchsia? Oh, 
he said yes, that, that he is Fuchsia Fish's friend and he was just uh, saying sorry for interrupting. Uh, it's okay, it's okay, you totally did not interrupt. I just did not expect you. Wow, that was, that was something. With the help of my new friends, and we have a new friend now too, I am now healthy and strong. I can travel distances that are far and long. Fun fact, sea lions, seals, and walruses are part of the same marine mammal family. Oh my gosh, look at those big brown eyes. Aren't they just so cute or sir? Look at that, so cute, so cute. These sea lions play together and sound like barking dogs. Yep, it's so funny how they actually bark. Everybody under the sea kind of has their own sounds. I'm like, oh, here we go. Yes, I do enjoy the whale song, actually. I was just, I was just uh, wishing him safe travels through the sea because he has a, a long way to go still. Now, sometimes help comes from unexpected faces, but that's what makes the world connect in all sorts of places. So what's, I guess he's talking about everybody who's, who came to help. The, the friend and volunteer who picked him out of the ocean, the surfer lifeguard, that was a fellow manning that red boat, that raft. The veterinarian, the animal doctor, who then examined Spot and took care of him and made sure he was going to heal properly. And the marine biologist who studies ocean animal life and uses that data to help humans help protect the, the sea life out there. Now, fun fact, the whale shark is the largest fish on the planet. They can grow up to 46 feet in length. That's longer than a school bus. Criminy! A school bus? Bigger than a school bus? But you don't want to ride this one. Oh, I, don't, I don't think so. Anything with the last name shark involved, I'm going to stay out of that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, do you mind if I hold you? I'm just, I think you're so beautiful. Uh-huh. And then what happened? Well, yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do speak a little bit of dolphin. <laughs> he was just telling me that he thought that my, my, my dolphin accent was spot on. I am very honored because, you know, you don't get that a lot from dolphins. Dolphins are very particular about their accents. Be responsible and pick up trash left behind so Earth will be safer for all of its kind. Remember how I told you about how you can make your trash at least safer? But then the next step, of course, is making sure it goes into the trash cans, especially, especially when we're at the beach or at the park or anywhere near water because it's so easy for trash to blow into the water, into the gutters, and all that leads back out to the oceans. Fun fact, seahorses! are named for the shape of their heads, which look like the head of a tiny, tiny horse. A baby seahorse is about the size of a jelly bean. Oh, so tiny. They're so beautiful. I've seen them sometimes. Not very often, but boy, it's incredible when you get to see one. Before I swam into the ocean, about to say goodbye, Charlie and I promised to share this survival guide. Be brave and protect our big blue sea because Spot needs friends like you and me. Fun fact, kids can do a lot to protect the ocean, like picking up trash and making sure plastic bottles and bags never get into the ocean. You, you, you can make a big difference. And look at those big beautiful eyes and those little nose, the whiskers like an old man. Of course you wanna help this little pup. And look, we go, oh, the book is full of so many interesting, and, oh, what? What is this? A personal message from Laura Knight, the author, to you and me? Oh, yeah, yeah. She told me she was going to send a special message. What's that say, storyteller? Well, let me see here. Dear readers, I hope you enjoyed Spot's story. I know I did. I know I did too. You can do anything you set your mind and heart to. Things I love, animals. That's convenient. Yes, it sure is. Nature, my family, chocolate, 
and watching Kids Are Story Time. I want to write more books just to hear them read aloud in silly voices. Reading is fun with friends like you. Love, Laura Knight. Oh, that was the most awesome message ever. She wanted you to know that she loves Kid Time and she loves our Kid Time Story Timers. Yes, she does. By the way, your friends came by. Oh, I just must have missed them. Well, you know, they were on their way somewhere and meeting up with some other friends. Oh, I know exactly the watering hole they're going. I'm going to go there myself. You know me, social butterfly for a fish. Oh, yeah, I do know you. Yeah, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Oh, what, 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 did, what, what did the dolphin say? Oh, just not much. Just, you know, to see you later. Yeah, dolphins, dolphins, you know, they, they're very florid in their language. So sometimes they speak a lot longer than, than you think of what they're going to say so long. But it, it really is not. On the other hand, fuchsia fishes, we talk a lot. <laughs> well, kid, I hope you enjoy the sea pup survival guide. And that you, too, help protect my friends and me from trash in the sea. See you later. Bloop, 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 bloop. See you later, kid, and I hope that you enjoy this book and the whole world of beauty out there awaiting you because it's ours to enjoy and protect. See you next time on Kid Time Story Time. Subscribe.